Hi, and welcome to Codex. Our speaker today is Danilo Yakimenko, who is a senior researcher at the Institute of Mathematics of NAS of Ukraine. Dr. Yakimenko's research interests include systems of subspaces of Hilbert spaces, unitarization of representations of posets, and star algebras and their representations. Today, he will tell us about the continuous downer conjecture. Take it away, Danilo. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for introduction. Uh, I have a great pleasure to be part of uh, Codex seminar, uh, in particular because uh, uh, the research that uh, I want to present uh, was motivated by uh, a, a talk on uh, your seminar. Now, uh, the, uh, the talk, my talk is titled uh, on the continuous Zauner conjecture, and uh, <clears throat> it, uh, it is based on a, a similarly titled uh, research paper. Uh, so what is this uh, all about? <clears throat> uh, well, there is a Zauner conjecture. I believe this conjecture is uh, very familiar to the audience. It's very, it's already very popular, and uh, I think it's in it. It is indeed very important. Uh, I can, I, I think, I it uh, can be even comparable with the importance of uh, uh, the di discovery of platonic solids. So may, maybe it, it, we just don't see all the importance of this conjecture right now, but I think it's really can be very and very important for the future. So I just uh, uh, recall, uh, recall the statements uh, that uh, we have a, a d-dimensional complex uh, Hilbert space. And uh, uh, the hypothesis is that uh, uh, there is uh, always uh, exist uh, uh, d squared unit vectors uh, in this space, such that they form a tight frame uh, so the sum of the projectors is a uh, multiple of uh, identity. And uh, uh, this frame is equiangular, so uh, the angle between uh, any two pair of vans, uh, vectors, uh, different vectors, is constant, right? And uh, uh, su such that is uh, actually a maximal equiangular frame, uh, because uh, uh, no, no other equivalent hotel frame can uh, can have more than uh, discrete discrete uh, vectors. And uh, another naming is uh, for uh, such a frame. It, uh, uh, it, what it's what we call a uh, SIC. Uh, it's a shorthand for symmetric information or a complete positive operator valid measure. Uh, I recall that information complete means that uh, uh, the the set of uh, uh, projectors on uh, those vectors spans uh, spans uh, the uh, space of all linear operators. Okay, and uh, when we when we have I also recall that uh, when we have a tensor product of uh, two copies of uh, Hilbert space H, then there is a symmetric subspace which can be defined by uh, the span uh, of simple symmetric uh, tensors that has uh, that uh, has uh, th this form, and uh, another way to look at it, it, it is uh, uh, th this uh, subspace is just a, a plus one edge space of the swap or flip operator that's just uh, swap the states uh, swaps the states of on on this uh, tensor product, and this this operator is actually unitary. And, uh, and it has only two, and it has only two engine values, uh, plus one and minus one. <clears throat> and uh, com uh, complement of uh, symmetric subspace is what we call asymmetric subspace. It is the minus one in the space of this uh, swap operator. And uh, for, for example, it can be defined by the span of uh, vectors of uh, this four, right? And uh, we know we we know uh, dimensions of uh, these uh, subspaces, and uh, uh, we we, all, we also need to we also need uh, projections of uh, uh, the, uh, on onto these spaces, and we will def uh, denote this by these pi pi symbols. 
okay now with this uh, we can we can define uh, projective two designs so it is we, we say that a set of unit vectors is a projective two design if the weighted average of uh, tender squares of projectors on uh, these vectors uh, equals to the uh, projector uh, normalize appropriate appropriately uh, projector on this metric subspace and by the, by the way uh, this expression is actually uh, uh, expectations or average over all rank one uh, tensor squared tensor squares of uh, rank one projectors uh, uh, okay and uh, we say that it is just a projective to design if all weights are equal and uh, for projective for weighted projective to designs uh, we know that uh, uh, it uh, every, every such design must uh, have at least uh, d squared uh, elements so its size at least d squared and uh, in fact every uh, every uh, seek is actually a minimal projective to design. So it uh, contains these uh, uh, squared elements and uh, it is a they seek satisfy uh, this uh, equation. And conver conversely, there is a theorem by Scott that uh, says that states that uh, uh, any weighted projective to design uh, that uh, uh, have uh, uh, discrete elements is is always a sick. So, uh, in particular, th this means that the weight weights must be uh, equal. Okay, and uh, uh, this is actually uh, we can uh, derive uh, an equivalent formulation of Zoner Zoner's conjecture from this statement. So. Uh, we can say that uh, uh, for for any uh, if uh, we, uh, it, it is equivalent to saying that uh, this uh, uh, this equality uh, always holds always has has a solution for n equals this d squared uh, uh, elements. So it is on, on we, we need to satisfy only one equation. So we, we just don't, we even don't uh, require a, a triangularity. It, 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 will, it will follow just automatically from, from just from this equation. Now, now I recall some facts in quantum information theory. Uh, it's so, uh, let let we have some linear map uh, phi, and uh, we call we call such a map a quantum channel if it's the, the if it has two properties it's trace preserving so uh, trace of the image is the same as trace of the input and uh, it it is completely positive uh, the actual definition is that if you take a tensor product with uh, identity map uh, then uh, this map uh, will be positive, which means that uh, uh, image of every positive element remains positive. Now, for uh, to understand what what is quantum channel and what is not, there is a useful tool called uh, Choi Choi matrix. <clears throat> now, Choi matrix of a linear map. Uh, is a uh, uh, matrix in the tensor product of uh, these two spaces and it is defined uh, by 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 this uh, formula we take identity uh, map on the uh, d by d matrices uh, tensor product with phi and put it uh, this expression this is actually a, a, a rank one projector on the on the maximally entangled uh, vector and and this hmm, this is equivalent to this uh, expression now uh, i just want to know that uh, usually and more commonly chain matrix uh, chain matrix uh, 
uh, is defined uh, uh, without without this factor. Uh, but uh, I find it uh, more convenient because with this factor, uh, this matrix is uh, actually will be will have uh, trace one if uh, uh, this map is uh, trace preserving. So it's a, li a little bit more convenient in uh, calculations. Uh, also note that uh, this map uh, is uh, that uh, uh, maps uh, feed to the matrix is actually itself linear and moreover it's, it is invertible. So for, for every uh, matrix in the in the corresponding space, uh, there is a there, uh, there is a con corresponding map uh, of, of this type. Okay, now, uh, what's the deal? Uh, there is a theorem by Choi that says that uh, a map is completely positive if and only if uh, its uh, corresponding Choi matrix is positive semi-definite. And uh, there is also another equivalent uh, statement that uh, there exists across the composition of, uh, uh, of, uh, of this map phi and uh, across the compositions has has this form, uh, and uh, these are called uh, Krauss operators. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now I recall what is separability. Now, if you have a, a, a state, well, a state is a positive semi-definite matrix with uh, trace one, and uh, state on if, if the state on on the uh, bipartite system which is a just tender product of two Hilbert spaces, then it is separable if there is there exists uh, the composition of uh, this kind. So it's it's just a convex combination of uh, of product of product uh, states where every every states is on the corresponding uh, subsystem. And uh, otherwise, if there is no such decomposition, then uh, the uh, state row is called entangled. And this is actually a very hard problem to uh, figure out uh, if, uh, uh, <clears throat> if a state row is separable or not. Uh, in a certain sense, it is proved that uh, uh, this problem is even uh, in, in, in P hard. Uh, so th this is uh, very, but anyway, there are uh, different criteria, criterions that uh, can uh, can help to answer this question. For example, uh, Perez Rodetsky uh, criterion that uh, where, we, where we look at the partial transpose. Uh, well, I, I will mention this uh, later. <clears throat> now, uh, if now, no, uh, notice that uh, if uh, uh, state uh, row is separable, then uh, it also has a pure separable decomposition, where all uh, all those uh, uh, states on subsystems are are all are all pure. This is because uh, we just can if it if any of it if any of it is uh, not pure. Then it is a it is a convex combination of pure states, so we can just uh, just rewrite it, and uh, and by linearity we we will obtain the same the same decomposition, de just, just, but uh, uh, this time we only uh, with pure uh, pure states on subsystems, right? <clears throat> and uh, uh, and. For for any for for a state row, uh, there can uh, can be many different uh, pure pure many different decompositions separable if it's separable, and there can be many different pure separable decompositions. And uh, uh, by the length uh, of uh, separability, uh, we define the minimum possible number of summons that a pure separable decomposition of row can have. And the immediate, immediate con consequence of uh, this uh, definition is that uh, length, length of separability uh, can be uh, 
it, it must be at, at least uh, rank of uh, state row. And uh, on the other hand, it, it is bounded from above. From Caratadori theorem, it follows that uh, we can bound it by uh, this, this number. Uh, and uh, well, actually, uh, this is also a hard problem, and uh, uh, and I will also show why. <clears throat> now uh, there is a concept of uh, entanglement uh, breaking channels. Uh, we say that uh, a quantum channel is entanglement entanglement breaking if uh, if you take uh, this tensor product uh, with identity map and every image uh of uh, of for any state row uh, uh, this image is always separable for any row even even entangled so th th that's explains uh, the naming now uh, there is a theorem uh, by Horodetsky, shore and uh, ruskai it is this theorem is similar to the uh, to the choice theorem that i mentioned uh, it's it states that uh, a channel fee uh, fee is internally breaking if and only if uh, its chain matrix is separable equivalently uh, there exists a cross decomposition but uh, where all cross uh, operators are rank one matrices uh, <clears throat> and for example uh, we can consider uh, so-called quantum de uh, depolarizing de uh, channels. Uh, it, uh, it is uh, these channels defined by uh, this uh, equation, and it, it is actually uh, just a linear combination of two of two maps. Uh, phi one is just uh, and just uh, the identity map, and uh, phi zero is uh, the map that any states. Uh, sense to the maximally uh, mixed state, just identity by divided by d. <clears throat> now, uh, it, it is not hard to see that uh, the identity map is uh, can't be in in ten in ten breaking because, well, it's identity, so in ten states will be uh, sent to the in ten states. So it it, it is not in ten breaking, but but this map. Is uh, is entanglement breaking? Now, so what about uh, uh, linear combination? Now, in fact, uh, th th those maps are quantum channels uh, exactly for a, uh, t from this interval, but uh, they are entanglement breaking only for t from uh, this interval. Okay. <clears throat> Now, for uh, for any entanglement uh, breaking uh, map, we can define the notion of uh, entanglement breaking rank, uh, and uh, denoted by this e EBR of phi, uh, and uh, it is the minimum number of summons in the Krauss decomposition of phi, where r, where all Krauss operators are rank one. And uh, this this was introduced in the uh, paper by uh, Pandey, Paulson, uh, Prakash, and uh, Rahman. And uh, why why it is interesting? Uh, they they proved the following theorem. They showed that Zauner conjecture is actually equivalent to the statement that uh, entanglement breaking rank of the map phi. Uh, one over d plus one uh, equals uh, d squared for for, for for any dimension d. And uh, they they also conjectured it. Uh, so the the PPR PPPR conjecture that uh, entanglement and breaking rank of uh, other maps for uh, for other parameters t is also d squared for for any dimension d. And uh, they they proved 
uh, they proved this conjecture in dimensions uh, two and three via, via explicit uh, constructions of Krauss decompositions where, where every uh, Krauss operator is uh, with rank one Krauss operators. And moreover, uh, those decompositions are continuous over, over, over T. And why, why, why it is all in interesting? In fact, this, uh, uh, this function uh, EBR, EBR is lower semi-continuous. Semi so it's enough to prove this conjecture uh, only on this interval. And if we, if you are interested in Zalm, if if you are interested only in proving Zalmer conjecture, then we can uh, prove uh, this extended uh, conjecture only in the in the neighborhood of this point, but without this this point. So this is kind of a, an analytical approach to the Zalmer conjecture. Uh, Actually, when Paulson gave a talk about uh, this their research, and I recommend to uh, watch it, uh, a talk on this Codex, Codex seminar, and I recommend to watch it if you missed it. Okay. So now I want to explain how, how we can uh, view a little bit differently on uh, this conjecture and what follows from it. Okay, there is, a, there is a simple lemma that states that uh, if you have a map that uh, sends uh, matrix X, X to, the, to this expression, this, this is actually a rank one operator. So this is a, actually a, a, a single summon uh, from the uh, rank one Krauss decomposition. And, uh, we, no, and this equality, uh, is true if and only if uh, choice matrix of this map phi uh, has this form. And uh, it is actually easy to see that uh, a, col a corollary form from this lemma that uh, if we have a, 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 an entanglement breaking map, then uh, for, for this map, we have that uh, entanglement breaking run of for this map is. Uh, is, is the same thing as the length of separability of its Choi Choi matrix. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, there is a notion of a partial partial transpose. Uh, it's, it is, uh, it is uh, this map uh, where, where, t, uh, where by TI define, uh, is defined the, uh, the usual transposition. And uh, this map is just uh, acts act, uh, by, th by this way on the uh, tensor product of uh, matrices. And uh, since, since it's linear, uh, we can extend it. Uh, we can extend the action of this map uh, on the set of all matrices from this space. And uh, it, it is not hard to see that the partial transpositions of a separable state uh, remains separable. And moreover, uh, the length uh, of the separability remains uh, exactly the same. So in total, we can we have the following equality. So that uh, tangible breaking rank of phi equals length of separability of its choi, choi matrix. And it is the same at length of separability of uh, partial transposes of uh, this matrix. Okay, now let's so let's look at the uh, choice matrices of of uh, our depolarizing channels. Uh, for for parameter t uh, on this interval, uh, we can calculate its uh, its choice matrix, and this will be this expression and. Uh, I recall that uh, this is a rank one operator and uh, uh, projector, rank one projector, and, uh, uh, and states of this type is actually known in quantum information theory as separable isotropic states. 
uh, you know, isotropic states are states that are just linear combination of this state and this state. And if you take the partial transpose of uh, uh, those tree, tree matrices, uh, what we what we get is uh, this expression. Uh, we can write it this way or equivalently. It is a linear combination of uh, swap operator and identity, or equivalently, it's, it is a linear combination of uh, symmetric and uh, asymmetric projectors. Now, uh, such type of states are known as uh, Werner states in quantum information theory. And, uh, uh, and since, uh, since uh, those maps, so those depolarization channels, channels are internal beacon, uh, those states are separate. They are actually exactly the set of separable uh, Werner states. So, so overall, uh, those T. And uh, in particular, uh, if you take a partial transpose of this uh, kernel of, of a chain matrix for this kernel uh, corner uh, corner uh, case. Uh, what uh, what we get is is the is the projector on the symmetric subspace, and uh, from this it follows that a tangent breaking round of this map is equ is the same thing as uh, the length of separability of symmetric projection projector. Okay, now let's uh, recall. Uh, let's go back to the projective two designs. Uh, uh, I recall that uh, they are defined by this uh, equation. But if you look, uh, if you look closer, you can see that uh, this left part uh, is actually give us the pure, pure, uh, uh, pure separable decomposition of the right part. Right, and uh, it implies that uh, uh, the if if there is a, a weighted projective uh, projective to design of size n, then the length of the length of separability of this uh, projector is uh, uh, is uh, no no bigger than n, and in particular it and in, it, it it follows that uh, the length of separability. Uh, is uh, no bigger than the uh, size of the minimal uh, weighted projective to design. And uh, there is a theorem that uh, expl states ex explicitly this, that uh, actually the side, uh, it states that uh, the size of minimal weighted projective to design uh, equals the internal brick uh, rank of this corner map. And it's it's proved in the paper by uh, Joseph, uh, Emily, and uh, Dustin, and about uh, it's, um, about uh, uh, projective to designs. And uh, Emily even uh, mentioned uh, this uh, <clears throat> this uh, result uh, in in a in a codex in a codex talk. I I just uh, uh, just give a a sketch of the proof. So we 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 just use the uh, the fact that uh, thermal breaking rank of this map equals the length of separability of uh, uh, this projector that I already mentioned before, and and uh, we know uh, this uh, uh, inequality. And to get the uh, <laughs> reverse inequality, we just suppose that. Length, uh, length of separability uh, equals m, which means that there are two, which means uh, there exists a, a, a pure separable decomposition. Uh, so we can write this equation, All right? And in fact, when we have this equation, uh, it is easy to see that uh, ve uh, vectors uh, th these vectors um, uh, must lay in the symmetric subspace, and 
this in fact can happen if and only if uh, this expression actual uh, equals to the uh, simple symmetric tensors and from, from this it follows that uh, there must be a weighted uh, weighted projective to design of size m and it it, it gives us the uh, reverse reverse uh, inequality in, in this and <clears throat> and so and uh, and if we uh, what i want to say also uh, if we combine if you combine this theorem with uh, the uh, theorem uh, by scott that uh, if there are minimal projective to design of size d squared uh, it must be a sick then if we combine these two theorem then uh, we get uh, this uh, statement by uh, Paulson and his colleges uh, that uh, about equivalence uh, of, of Zoner's conjecture and uh, uh, the statement that uh, uh, internal breaking rank of this map uh, must be equal to, must, must be equal to uh, d squared. Okay, so now be, before going forward, I want to. Uh, just uh, show you a short uh, short uh, resume of uh, uh, properties of the tree map. I I, I already mentioned uh, most of it, uh, but uh, I just want to show that how how useful it is. So uh, properties of a quantum channel are actually equivalent to some meaningful properties of. Uh, Corresponding uh, uh, choice uh, matrix. Uh, I just uh, there is another uh, property that I didn't talk. Uh, if you take if you take a, a quantum channel and uh, composition with transposition, uh, then it is the same thing that. Uh, we take uh, a partial transposition of of the corresponding joint map well and, and another one i think i mentioned okay now let's go uh, further uh, now suppose uh, that uh, a terminal brick and rank of uh, those the result the, the, polar, the polarizing channels is equals equals to d squared for some for some param for some parameter uh, in this interval and equivalently as i as i showed you before this means that the length of separability of the partial transpose of its choice matrix equals d squared now this equation means that uh, there exist uh, unit frames and uh, weights uh, such uh, that uh, the following uh, uh, that there is a following equality, right? So the, 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 it means that there is a uh, uh, pure. It just, it just states that there is a uh, pure separable decomposition of uh, this uh, matrix, and uh, and and. What we can deduce from here, uh, there is a, the following theorem. Uh, it can be proved that all, uh, if we have this uh, equality, then all weights must be equal, and uh, uh, these frames x and uh, x and y, they must be tight, both both of them must be both informationally complete unless uh, t, uh, t equals zero. And they are kind of mutually unbiased. So if you, uh, if you heard the previous talk uh, by Dardo, uh, uh, he defined mutually bind frames uh, by saying that uh, uh, those scalar products are, are constant for every indexes i and j. But in this case, we actually have uh, two constants. Uh, there is a, one constant uh, if e i equals j, 
and there is another constant that uh, I uh, not the same as J. And moreover, it can be uh, there is another interesting property is that they are kind of re re reciprocal to each other. If we take a product of uh, if you take angle between x i and x j and just multiplied by the angle between uh, y and y j, uh, it will be constant again for uh, i not equals to, to j. And uh, so this theorem is a kind of extension of the theorem by by Scott that uh, showed that uh, uh, to the uh, that weighted projective two designs uh, uh, of size d, d squared must be six, uh, six, six POEMs. And uh, this is just the extension of this theorem. And the proof of this theorem is kind of extensions of the proof of the theorem of the Scott's, uh, Scott's theorem. Uh, and there, uh, there is actually a con converse statement so whenever we have uh, uh, two uh, unit frames that are tight, informationally complete, and uh, have this kind of uh, mutually unbiasedness, yes, this two constant uh, constants that's uh, ex exactly these constants. Uh, then it then it follows that we have this uh, this equality. And uh, which means uh, the, which means that uh, the length of separability of uh, this map is d squared, and uh, because th this is a, because this is uh, pure separable de decomposition, and it, it is the same thing as uh, entangled breaking rank of uh, this uh, map, uh, this quantum the, the polarizing chain. So I have a question. Um, yes. Does this mean I no longer need a limit of t's? I just need a single t. Yes, it is. It is a statement for single t. You you just uh... so so. Let me say it again. So to prove Zauner, I don't need a limit of t's. I just need a single t that does it, and I win. Well, a single. Zauner, Zauner's uh, conjecture is, equal, is uh, equivalent to saying that for, for the t that equals one over d plus one, we have this, uh, and there, there exists <clears throat> this pair of frames. I, I just, uh, uh, let, let, let me, let me yeah, say, say one more statement and I comment. Now this, uh, uh, so th this results, these two results that I mentioned, the, the theorem and the con converse statement, the, they show that the PPR, the extended conjecture about equivalence is itself equivalent uh, to the existence of such a pair of frames. Well, ex except uh, the case uh, t equals zero. Uh, well, but in, in this case, uh, it's, it is almost the same, except uh, uh, the frames are, are not necessary informationally complete in this case. So the extended, so, uh, well, let, let me go back a little bit. So, so there is the statement that Zauner conjecture is equivalent to the statement that uh, we have this inequality, and there is a extended conjecture that we have this inequality for any t. And uh, this theorem uh, uh, shows us that uh, it is uh, also equivalent to the existence of such a pair of frames. So mutual unbiased frames. Yeah, so what my question was about was when you said something about the semi-continuous move where it suffices to get a limit of t's approaching one over d plus one in order to prove Zauner. This I think is saying that if you just have a single t in the interval, maybe not t equals zero, but some other t, then you get to conclude Zauner. Is that correct? Uh, no, no, it's not, not follows. Uh, I don't think it follows. Uh, uh, you uh, you just uh, uh, you just prove 
for a single t uh, uh, to prove that uh, entanglement breaking rank of uh, of phi uh, t equals d squared, yeah, uh, you just need uh, to find uh, these two mutually unbiased uh, frames. Uh, I understand. I got excited when I saw EBR equals D squared. I didn't realize the dependence on T in that equation. So I understand. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. So, so, uh, so the, in general, T uh, that's not uh, this corner case, it's, it is a different problem. So it's not uh, directly related to Zahner, even so there is a, that, that uh, semi-continuity that I mentioned before. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, okay, and uh, actually, I well, I already said that uh, this conjecture is uh, true in dimensions two and three, but uh, in fact, I did some numerical searches, and from my experience, from my uh, for, for what my searches, from my experience, uh, that. Uh, I, I couldn't find any uh, numerical solutions for any uh, t on this interval other than uh, this corner case or zero uh, that uh, that gives uh, that uh, supports this conjecture if uh, d is uh, at least four. So I think that uh, I think uh, even even despite this uh, nice re result. I think it's probably this conjecture in general is probably not true. So because numerically I couldn't find, uh, and there is also another uh, some there is also other arguments why it is not true, and uh, we can uh, <clears throat> there there is a uh, whale Hansberg group uh, that uh, defined uh, by by th this way we take. Uh, Clock and uh, shift matrices, and we uh, we, we can consider uh, their product uh, that uh, give us a projective re representation of just uh, this uh, square root uh, uh, cycle uh, group, and uh, uh, with, with with this uh, matrices we can define what is a co covariant uh, group covariant frame, and. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, those uh, solutions that uh, exist for uh, D in dimensions two or three, uh, they are in fact covariant, they are group covariant, uh, which means that uh, uh, we can uh, every, if, if we index over those uh, D squared uh, <clears throat> uh, elements, then uh, there are fiducial vectors. Uh, for 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 both of the frames, and in fact, uh, those solutions uh, to the equation to the, to the main equation, I, I recall, it, it is these equations, and in fact, uh, those uh, so, uh, solutions are continuous and differentiable over over t. So the the, the fiducial the fiducial vectors and well and. Consequently, all, all of these vectors are also continuous and differentiable. Uh, but if you look at the uh, case where t equals zero, uh, then uh, those uh, inequality, th those equality, those main equality star, uh, it becomes uh, uh, this. This uh, look looks like this, and. Uh, in this uh, this case, there is a well, there is a nice looking solutions uh, that uh, can be uh, given by uh, uh, kid zero and uh, f uh, in the image of f uh, and <clears throat> multiplied by kid zero, uh, where f is just a <clears throat> Fourier transform. So uh, there is a this nice looking solution and. Uh, uh, well, I, I I will not go uh, into why why this is why why this this is a good can be good solution, but it it turns out it turns out that uh, uh, 
it is it's a it is actually not a good starting point for a series of uh, uh, vehicle-variant solutions that uh, depend on the parameter t. And uh, if 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 there would be uh, such a series, then uh, it, it 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 can be proved that uh, this uh, uh, this series of solutions that depend uh, on t it can be differentiable from the right. Uh, uh, at the point uh, zero so so there is a nice solution but uh, uh, it's not really nice if you if you look if you try to extend it uh, for extend it uh, con con continuously so th this is a like small argument why maybe it's not why the the the, the, the uh, the conjecture might be not true in general. Okay, uh, how, how much time I still have? A few more minutes. Okay, okay, I think it will be enough. Uh, I also want to mention uh, another another result from another paper. Uh, uh, let's uh, <clears throat> look at the uh whale helsenberg uh, six that uh, with a fiducial x uh, for this uh, they are of course they are uh, projected to designs so there is a this uh, equation uh, equality and uh, this equality is actually means that uh, uh, th this frame uh, with uh, where where we take uh, tensor squares of, of those uh, vectors is tight on the symmetric uh, uh, subspace. Uh, some some people call call it a, a cousin cousin type frame. Now, uh, by dynamic theorem, uh, whenever we have tight frame, then uh, well, it follows. Uh, in in this case, it follows from Neimark's theorem that uh, there exists an, an orthonormal basis, uh, some or some basis orthonormal. On uh, on this tensor product such that uh, it is actually this frame is actually a projection uh, normalized appropriately is actually a projection of this basis on the symmetric subspace. Okay, so this is a, just a consequence of this theorem, but uh, we can go uh, we can receive uh, we can derive a, a better much better result that uh, uh, we can find a basis, uh, we can find a, a, a group covariant basis, uh, not, uh, not so, uh, which means that uh, uh, the, a, a, every element of this basis is actually just a, a action of uh, uh, this uh, squared operator, uh, on some uh, fiducial fiducial basis vector. So, if we take uh, the set of all uh, vectors, uh, it is not necessary a basis. So, some 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 uh, some fiducial. Uh, so the, uh, so there is a subset of uh, fiducial basis vectors that uh, uh, that uh, yield us uh, uh, the this. Uh, the the basis, uh, the orthonormal basis, and and uh, equivalently, this statement uh, says that uh, if x is a fiducial uh, vector, x is a fiducial vector of a sig, then we can write this equation where this vector b is a fiducial basis vector. So, this, which means that this frame is, uh, this set of vectors is orthonormal based. And uh, this is, well, uh, th this is kind of nice, okay, nice property. And, well, I, I will not uh, go uh, in, in other properties. I just want to mention that uh, the, the last slide that uh, uh, it, uh, this actual this result actually can be extended to this uh, type where we where we take any any t 
So this is a for seek, and now we take just any t from this uh, interval, and uh, and suppose suppose uh, uh, we have a uh, whale Helsberg whale covariant solutions for for t. So we have this uh, uh, matrix, uh, Werner state, right? Uh, we have this. Uh, uh, pure decomposition, uh, and we suppose that it is uh, well has the covariant and have the same. Well, it's actually by, by theorem the the weights must be <coughs> equal. And uh, the extended uh, version of uh, the previous result is that we can take uh, the matrix M T. It's just the square root of. Uh, uh, this matrix, well, this is a state, so there is a unique uh, square root, uh, which is a positive semi definite. And we take this matrix, and the extended results is there is always a covariant basis of this type uh, such that uh, uh, those, uh, if you take uh, this tensor product of fiducial vectors, right? And, that appear here. It's it's it is just an image of this uh, 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 image of this uh, uh, matrix uh, that uh, that acted on uh, this fiducial basis vector. So when uh, when t is equal equals to zero, this this statement is trivial. And if if t equals to one over d plus one, this, this is exactly the previous. Uh, result, and uh, this is this is just uh, uh, the uh, ad advanced version. This result is actually uh, wasn't uh, isn't published because I uh, did, didn't find uh, any uh, any use of it yet. But but I think it it, it is interesting that there is there exists such a uh, extent. Uh, extended version and uh, finally finally conclusions so my conclusions that this the ppr conjecture which is a extended and in some sense a continuous version of zalmer conjecture it is equivalent to the existence of a specific pair of mutually unbiased frames and uh, this conjecture pro probably not true for uh, D at least four, except uh, these two points. And in, th in this point, uh, the, the rank is, uh, until we bring the rank is always D squared. And at this point, we have a Zauner conjecture, which is probably true. And uh, finally, I think it, it's anyway, even if it's not true, anyway, it, 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 it's interesting to find. Uh, Values of entanglement breaking ramp, on, or equivalently the length of separability for for those depolarizing channels and uh, and the maps in general. So I so I think, uh, for example, uh, ex except the six, there are mutually unbiased bases uh, for in prime dimensions, right? And uh, I uh, I I don't know if if we can. Uh, uh, continuously modify them, uh, so they are they are projective. To, they are mutually unbiased bases are also projective to designs, but I don't know if, if now for now if we can modify them a little bit. Uh, so so they are give us so they give us uh, pure pure decompositions uh, uh, with uh, of uh, of uh, chain matrices. For uh, of corresponding choice matrices that uh, for four t, for example, close to this uh, value. And well, uh, this is all. Thank you for your attention. All right. So let's smash that reaction button and thank the speaker. Oh, wow.